Welcome back to class, everybody. Uh, second episode of Season 4, we're rolling right along with the Roman Legionnaire. Now, technically, I've done this episode before. Uh, this is a redo because I feel like I didn't quite do them justice in their own advantage. Um, I used the Pelum as a replacement for their spear, the, the Hosta. Problem with that. You see all that long metal bit? All of that can go through. I'm hitting the rock on the other side. If I were to superheat this, boom, boom, all the way to the base. Now, that means that my opponents, who I was fighting, even unsuperheated, this thing can go through their shields. I see it can only go so deep into the... It's hitting something on the other side of that wall. But... Oh. Look at that shit! <laughs> that is a long tip. Um, unsuperheated, because I'm not using magic, aside from my one healing spell. You know. This thing drove itself through their shield and then through their body. I have the high through her shield! Now, traditionally, yes, it would punch the shield. Because if you look at the tip of the pillum, and you look at the tip of a bodkin arrow... And... They are incredibly similar. They were designed to drive a tiny amount of metal, with a good amount of weight behind it, very deep into an opponent's body. But it was meant to bend after that. It'd drive through and then bend or break, and essentially make that shield useless. Or, or at least do a lot of damage to it, sometimes hitting the person behind the shield. So, using this like a spear, I was able to kill two people in one stab, literally through a body and through another body. It was OP, and wielding it a lot like a hoplite would, with my shield out in front of me, I was unstoppable, nearly untouchable. It was a little too OP. So I'm going to use it like a true pillum would be. I'm going to throw it once. And then, uh, well, no, maybe not just once, because technically they would carry several pillum. They'd have two or three. So I will have, I'm going to limit myself. I can throw it twice. If it doesn't hit anything, I'll throw it again. So I can get two hits, not two kills, two hits with the pillum, and then I have to discard it. That being said, I've got my Gladius and my Spatha. Now, you, as you can see, they are almost the exact same length, which I thought was weird because the Spatha is supposed to be a bit longer. My nose really itches. Um, I'm going with the Gladius as my primary sword because for the, a lot of the Roman Empire, the Gladius was their primary weapon. So using the Spatha and saying that I'm a traditional legionnaire would be somewhat untrue considering the Spatha was mostly reserved for cavalry. And then later on, the, the more armored and well-equipped legionnaires. Uh, so I'm going to be using the Gladius for most of my fighting. Eh, I'm trying to fix my... My wrist straps before I do this. Ah, darn it. So, yeah, I'm going to be going into the dungeon. Two star difficulty, one star on length. Just a quick run through the dungeon. We're going to see how the Legionnaire fares. Boop. Boop. Bam. That is true. Half sorting was a thing. If only I had some of those. Alright. Now, there's two ways to hold the scutum. You can hold it like this. Which I feel like would be best for like a 1v1 so you can get a jab with it. Or like this, true punch shield style. That's how I'm going to be holding it. 
Now, I'm going to save my, my pillum throw for when I feel like I really need it. There's three of them. I might really need it. Tell you what, I'm going to see if I can take them out quick enough that it won't alert those two. Okay, real quick. Get... Get out of there. Crouch IRL just in case I need to slow time. What's the on guard? Uh, uh, really? Uh, 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 how are you having trouble with leather armor? Uh, Whoa, Jesus, arm. There you go. The shield punch with this, really not that good. 
feel like a full body punch would, would be better. <laughs> I meant to grab her, sh like her neck or her shoulder and run her through the back. But I ended up taking the weapon off her back, so I had to let it go because I'm trying to stick true to my rules of not using their weapons, only using the weapons I brought. This isn't going to be fun. I've got to get that guy. So that means I've got to climb this ladder. I mean, I guess I could steal his bow, but I'm trying not to because, well, the Romans did, you know, they, they were around in the time of bows. They did not typically employ archers of Roman descent. They would, uh, they would use auxiliary archers, so people of other nations who they inducted into their ranks. Romans were more typically known for their javelin use. That's one! I really should have saved that, but that was glorious. That throw right to the floor. Almost fucking died from the fall damage there. Alright, that's one on my pillum. I only have one more throw. Where am I supposed to go? Was I not supposed to come down? Oh, I didn't have to fight those two. Oh, well, I fucked them up anyways. Hi! On. Outnumbered. Slow time. Bam. Before he can get a weapon. Oh, I tried to go for the cheeky hook. Alright, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be my first big battle. I've got a good amount of health. So let's uh let's find a place where we can fend off multiple opponents fairly easy. Thinking over here. The archers will be a bitch. That. But 
When it comes to my melee competitors, uh, I should be able to hold my own. They are very slowly making their way up to me. slowed time because like trained warriors would have like heightened reflexes when it came to battle they'd know how to kind of use that adrenaline rush to, to heighten their reflexes Ugh. punish punisher for her mistake whoa magic back it up My uh, is my spot this still? or my gladius? There it is. Oh, what did I hit? Oh, I'm right next to my desk. Good thing I didn't smack my monitor. I must have come close a few times. Um, shit. There we go. Didn't even have to use my one pillum throw. I, I was tempted. If there was an archer like over here, I was gonna wing it at him just to see how it did. Or like if I was really outnumbered, I was gonna throw my gladius and then I'd draw my pillow. I ended up throwing my gladius because I knew I had the spatha as a backup. So I just drew my, my spatha and decided to end the fight with a bit better reach and chopping power. Now, I do have fall damage turned off just to prevent glitches like that in the physics from killing me. Because um, sometimes when you leap, he yeets himself forward like that, like a lunge forward, and I don't want to die doing that. Wow, I did well on health that run. I, uh, I did not take a lot of damage. See, last time I attributed my coming out of it so good to the fact that I was using the pillum like a spear, and by god is the pillum an absolute wrecker, but now that I know that, like, I can still come out of it okay, even without using the pillum that much, and using it more historically accurate, I mean, this was a one-shot for me. I literally one-shot somebody, and then I didn't touch it again. I gave myself two uses, just because typically you'd have two of them, but the fact that I threw it once and never had to throw it again is still historically accurate. Um, so let's, let's go into the grading, shall we? While I work on my, oh, damn. While I work on my accuracy here. Um, offensively, my swords were not very useful against chainmail opponents. I had to go around the chainmail a lot of the time. Um, that being said, the pillum, and I know this from my previous run, here's an example of it. Thank you. It goes right through their chainmail, and I would assume the hosta, which is the Roman version of the, the dory, would behave similarly to the dory, being able to punch through that chainmail. Um, I don't think there is a hosta yet, but if I had to guess, I'd, I'd equate it very similarly to just a wooden lance. Interesting. I would equate it to the Mycenaean spear and the dory. I'd, I'd put it in that same kind of boat. 
Um, yeah, it's, it's not here. There isn't one. There's a Byzantian mace, and that kind of predates Greece and Rome. And I was a little tempted to bring that with me as an alternative to armored opponents. But if you ever look up hoplites and their traditional loadout, they didn't have it. If you look the Romans, they really didn't have mace wielders. They, uh, they outsourced for shit like that, getting, like, carrion axemen. Um, they, they would outsource uh, Greeks and, and Gauls, especially, to kind of crack some of the enemy ranks. So, I give them a B on offense, just because, well, I'm B-C+, plus, kind of in that range. Because the Gladius had trouble punching through a leather armored guy. Um, I thought that was kind of dumb. <laughs> it, it struggled. And I mean, here you see it sticking into the damn stone. You know, I could throw it at the wall and I guarantee it'll stick into the, the, the wall or whatever. See, it sticks. You know, you can plunge it in. But it... Okay, it might not go into the wall, but... It, it struggled. It struggled to get through his leather. And... If I'm going by, you know, a C being best against bare-skinned, uh, B being best against, or good against leather, and A being good against all three, this would have to be a B minus C plus. Because I know it can go through leather. There's proof that I've stabbed people in leather. Same with this guy. Uh, he's about the same piercing potential. The downside is when I throw this guy, he's not thrown tip first. The, I guess the plus side would be he has more chopping power. I know he can cut leather. I know they can both cut leather, even if they can't stab it. They can cut it. So, yeah. B. Uh, defensively, A+. Plus. Easily an A+. Plus. Um, even without the armor that the Romans would wear, which had primitive chainmail over leather, um, the scutum, as opposed to the hoplon, which I was using in my last episode, when I hold it comfortably in front of me, my my whole body covered. There's no excess shield hanging off the edge. And even if I do hold the shield kind of off to the side here, because it's not rounded like the hoplon, my legs are covered, my shoulders covered, everything except the arm I'm using to kill people with is well protected. Um, and when I reach out with it to block somebody, you know, un unlike the hoplon, which is held kind of off to the side like this, um, I, I can reach up, and I know that the whole of the shield is going to be blocking them. Yeah, it might get knocked up and down because I'm holding it in the middle, so attacks to the top and the bottom might wibble-wobble it. But if I hold it like this, you know, I, I can brace a bit better against those high strikes, and I can cover more of my upper body, or I can hold it over my head to cover my head, you know, because they would fight in formation, which was a big thing for them. But... No, just the Scutum was a wonderfully defensive alternative. Um, so I got to give him an A because this thing, I didn't even have to use my healing spell. I, I still had 75% health. Um, how they handled multiple opponents? Uh, deftly. I mean, you saw me fighting out there. With this able to block most of my incoming, it doesn't have as much blindside protection. So I had to really keep my head on a swivel, keep turning and looking around. But, um, it, I, I was able to dispatch multiple opponents while blocking the brunt of their attacks. So, I gotta give it to him, you know? And, especially when wielded with the Spatha, the, the bigger reach and better hacking power meant that when I bash somebody... Now, the shield bash, not so great with this one. Unlike the Hoplon, which has that great edge, because that edge is so far away, when I hit, it's likely to bend and wibble-wobble doesn't have a great smack to it like this one does so yeah or like the uh, like the hop blender so yeah I i'm gonna give him an a on the defensive um all in all their their grade comes down to a uh a b plus a minus range i'm gonna go solid b though just because their their offense is down no you know what b plus uh, let's go to my little judgment corner. Roman Legionnaire. B+. Class dismissed.